Hello everybody, Happy New Year! It is officially 2015 and this is my very first video of the new year! Um, so for the last three years I've kind of started a tradition where I will redraw a picture from the year previously. And three years ago I drew Rapunzel with her lantern and then last year in December I believe I redrew her and I was like this is really cool I think I'll do it again next year. So here we are, it's next year and I'm drawing Rapunzel. I like to do this so that I can look back at my drawings and see if I've improved at all. So this drawing is summarizing like all the things I've learned in 2014, even though I drew it early 2015. Oops, forgot. But here it is, and I think it still counts. So you can see my other two pictures that I drew two years ago and one year ago. And you can see if I've improved at all. I'm not sure I improved a lot this year. I think there was a bigger gap between the 20, um, 12 and 2013 years but I mean it's nice to look back and see where you're going and where you came from and that is why I like doing this. I believe on DeviantArt this is called the draw this again challenge. I only do it once a year so it's kind of like the New Year's challenge for me but yeah it exists. It's a thing. So I highly suggest you try and do the draw again challenge just to see where you're going and where you're coming from. It's really really cool to get benchmarks and to see where you're heading. Um, I do suggest though, like pick like a date, like every six months or every year to do this kind of thing because you really don't want to do a draw me again challenge when it's only been like a week because trust me, you get like over the course of a year you have ups and downs in your art like anything else. So if you're doing like the draw again challenge every couple days, like sometimes you'll get really disheartened because you'll draw it worse than you did before and that is not good so always draw new things until maybe like you have a set time where you're going to redraw it. You know, it's just a little bit better and I think it will help you in the long run. One thing I think I got better at over the year was hands. Like I, when I drew these hands I was like whoa! I didn't think I could draw hands that well. I mean they're not perfect but they're like better than anything I've ever drawn before you know without like references so I was very very proud of those. Something I think I got worse at was drawing feet. <laughs> they don't look quite as good as I thought they we're going to, yeah, but that's later. You'll notice it later. Um, another thing I really, really struggled with in this picture was drawing eyeballs. Like you'll watch if you just watch this video, you'll notice I drew, I redrew and drew and redrew again her eyes, probably upwards of 13, 20 times. That's a really odd range, but yeah, up there somewhere, and. <laughs> Ugh. I still didn't quite get the eyes I was looking for. Like at first I started a little bit too small, but I liked them. It was a little bit more realistic, but um, I usually draw bigger eyes, so I thought that wasn't a very good representation or a summary of my art of 2014. So I tried to make her eyes bigger, but then they ended up way too big. So in the final picture, her eyes are enormous, but rewatching Tangled a couple weeks ago, her eyes are massive, so you know, I'll just go with that. It's fine. Something I just noticed looking back at the other two versions of this drawing was the very first one, she's very flat on the ground, she's very grounded. And then the second one, she's got like one foot up in the air and she's kind of on a tippy toe and she's sort of like almost floating away with the lantern, which is kind of like her dream. So she's like trying to float away with her dreams. And then in this one, she's still got both feet on the ground, but she's a lot She's still nowhere near as grounded as the first one where her feet were flat on the ground. She's still kind of got a little bit of like an upwards lift to her and she's kind of like still trying to jump up with her lantern even though there isn't that much motion in it. She still has a good motion line and she's, I don't know, she looks a little bit more alive than my first drawing and I really thought that was interesting. Another interesting fact about this picture, at least the one that I drew in um, 2012 I believe, that was one of my very first drawings that I ever recorded with like a screen capture software. I still have the file somewhere, but I thought that was really interesting because I mean this is the thing that I'm going to redraw every year and it was like one of my very first speed paints ever. I never posted it online anywhere so I can't link it to you, but I just, I don't know, I think that's like a good way to track myself. It's like my very first speed paint and then, well you watching it now this is my most current speed paint I've ever made so I think that's really that's interesting and fascinating at the same time and I like it that's all I have to say oh and here's the feet I'm talking about like uh, I don't know these feet aren't the greatest feet in the whole world but I mean they're feet so that's all you can expect from them right 
Just remember, folks, that whether you're getting better or worse, it's still progress in one direction or the other. Yeah, think about that one for a second. Put that one on a motivational poster. Probably don't, though. That's a terrible idea. So, we're finishing up the line art on the hair, and we're... Well, I forgot I've got to add all these braids in there miscellaneous places because it just adds texture to the hair and that's another thing I believe I actually did progress forward in this year was textures and I think that's really cool it adds a very it's like it adds an entirely new dimension to your drawings if you can add like textures here and there and you can make different fabrics or skin look like they feel different even though it's all artificial you're drawing it all none of it's real but if you can make it look like oh that's soft and that isn't that's more of like solid then I believe you are probably heading in the right direction. I mean, I still have a ways to go, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've am i started the journey. And also, I believe I got a little bit better at like just drawing in little textures when it comes to like coloring. So that's something you can look for in the rest of the video. And then something I want to try and um, exercise and get better at for 2015 is cloth. Oh my gosh, folds and cloths, oh, scary. I just want to be better at it. So I'm gonna keep drawing foldy things and clothy things. I really tried with her skirt. You can probably tell it looks a little like exaggerated with the clothiness. So it's not quite where I want it. And that's something I really want to work on over 2015 in on my channel and in my art in general is drawing cloths and probably anything. And like, that doesn't make sense. I want to work on like, what did I want to say? I want to say, having more motion in everything like even if your arms if you're holding your arm out whether you're doing it forcefully or or gently like you're handing you're holding your hand out to like grab someone else's hand or whether you're holding your hand out like for justice if that makes sense i want to be able to somehow capture that and stick it in a drawing i know that i'm, I'm not there yet but i really do want to work on that and get somewhere with that also, I want to work on backgrounds because, let's be honest, I kind of shy away from the backgrounds and that's something I need to get my button gear and do. Um, hmm. So I guess that leads me to say, what is something you believe you've improved in over 2014 and what do you hope to improve in your art for 2015? Like something to practice and work on over the next year and then we can all meet together again one year from now and we can discuss this next year. We'll see if we got anywhere. And next year, if I haven't drawn any backgrounds and I haven't drawn like cloth or anything, let me know in the comments right now because hey, maybe I won't, I'll, I'll try harder this year if you tell me in the future that I didn't do it. But I'm hoping I will, I think I will. I'm really gonna try. Anyway, as this video draws to a close, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me redraw a redraw of Rapunzel and if you want you can check out um, last year's drawing of Rapunzel I still have the speed paint and that will be linked at the end of the video and in the description below leave in the comments what you think you or you believe you've improved with over the last year and what you hope to improve with in the future and I'm going to read through those and That'll be a lot of fun. I'd like to know what you guys and where you guys are at and where you're hoping to be. I think that'll be very interesting. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you will subscribe if you're not already because I have a lot of things planned for 2015. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I want to tell you, but I don't want to tell you because I, I have to keep it a secret because it's, it's for me and for me to know you to find out, okay? All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a great fantastic 2015 because I don't know that's a cool number I like 15 that's like you know halfway to 30 30 is halfway to 60 60 is more than half the way to the hundred oh it's a cool number I don't know where I was going with that so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys all next week with a brand new video and hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles bye